Lee. Lee Goldberg, meteorologist, chief meteorologist. Are you there, Lee? I am. I'm with you guys. All I right. Shed a... some light on this. 4.7? Yeah. 4.7. Also getting some other preliminary reports that might be a little, be a little bit higher, north of 5. Um, you know, we haven't had... Uh, this type of magnitude a very long time. You know, in the New York City area, north of five, you may have to go back to the late 1800s in terms of my initial historic research. Wow. This is definitely along the Ramapo Fault, which huh? runs uh, from northwest New Jersey, kind of west of Newark, all the way up to about half a straw in Rockland County. So that's why I'm not surprised that we're hearing a lot of reports of being felt in northern New Jersey and then right up uh, into Rockland County. Mm. Uh, this is different with our base and our ground it's a lot harder older on the east coast it emanates a lot farther sometimes in some western earthquakes so we're seeing that in the north american plate we're feeling it all across the city and way up through the hudson valley even some reports for the capital district near albany yeah I'm, interesting i had friends in um, ulster county northern ulster county yeah. allenville area kingston saying they felt it and Australia david and david navarro you know he, he's he's in rockland county he reached out and he said that he felt it very strongly he said that it lasted um for about 20 seconds yeah we have a, you know we have a lot of faults going through the area i mean there's one that goes right through 125th street um, so the fact that this is, is radiated so far is not a surprise. Um, Lee, can you do us a favor? There's going to be people watching right now who don't really understand what exactly is a fault. Why is that important in a situation like this? So this is, you know, when we talk about the Earth's crust, you know, so we go subterranean, we've got plates running up against each other. Sometimes they'll slide and cause a particular type of earthquake. Sometimes they'll get displaced. A sublimation, it'll be one over another, one underneath another, and then depending on how that's moving, the severity of the earthquake. So essentially, mm -hmm. you know, this is the, you know, the Earth's crust, you know, shimming around and, and causing the vibration for us. What was your first thought, Lee? You were sitting at home. Did you know instantly what it was? No, I actually didn't. I, what's weird is I'm in Upper, I happen to not be in Westchester where I live. I'm in Upper Saddle River, New Jersey. Oh. I had to be here this morning, and I, I was very surprised that we didn't feel it here. So I just started to get all types of alerts and started to look into it and saw the preliminary potentially upper fours north of five and said, wow, I mean, this is just, you know, we get ones, you know, pretty frequently. We had one back in January that was uh, 1.7 around the area, but to see that magnitude surprised me. And 1.7, Ali, um, correct me if I'm wrong here, you're not really feeling it as like we just felt with a 1.7. No, not at all. I mean, that, that's, you know, you have to be really sensitive and feel a little shimmy and uh, nothing like that. No, but this was some perceived shaking. A lot of people 20, 30 seconds experiencing it. Yeah. Um, you know, whether I, I haven't heard of any damage reports yet, hopefully not to that magnitude. Uh, but th this magnitude certainly could cause some shaking and some minor damage. All Thank right, you Lee, so much thanks so much. Thank you. Um,